Hello, this is Dutty Bear and welcome to a brand new top 10 social media countdown. Now this time it is going to all be about Reggae Sumfest 2017. So, guess what? I was actually accredited to cover the event as, you know, part of the press. Myself and DaVinci Studios. DaVinci Studios, you know, who are responsible for all of the, the graphic designs and stuff on the social media countdown. We headed to Mobile to cover Sumfest from Monday go straight down to Saturday and boy, it was very grueling, but it was worth it. So now check out some of the highlights that we deemed to be part of this countdown. Number 10, Queen Ifrika Lashes Aishana. Oh my god, people. So this moment took place on night two. It was international night as part of Queen Ifrika's set. She took the time while singing, In times like these, we are missing our heroes. To Hannah, the late Louise Bennett Coverley. And she also talked about Aishana's comments and basically, yeah, just look. We need to start respect with heroes them more. We start respect the people them who fight for this country more. Marcus Gavi, Miss Lou, Bob Marley. When a little girl feel like she can't bright enough and big enough for this icon like Miss Lou, the item must make the item vice loud in disagreement. Number nine, Tony Matara, the selector. Okay, so this moment took place on, this was the Sound Clash night, and Tony Matara and people, it was the first time seeing the man himself in an element and it was quite something to witness the man started off a little bit lame and then as the grounds took on him get vexed and cross and miserable and he took it to the other songs them and ended up winning five hundred thousand dollars that night check out some of him highlights them don't get me ignorant but i don't need us to pay but i don't need us to pay but i can tell you about the mother dog dog what am i doing now play the class for you so far dog Jesus being people, my word, my sentence, my box with paragraph. I am one of the biggest Sean Paul fans. Them from him, I said, Dotty Cup, Dotty Berry, a Dotty, Dotty Berry, a from long time. It was my first time seeing Sean Paul, and he performed his his set on International Night. That was night two, and it was quite incredible. It was him bring out Chiching Ching. It was just very international. I'm like, say, him elevate the whole production once he took himself on stage. <laughs> Number seven, I don't have suit. My word, my sentence, my box would paragraph. No, so I don't know. Why did you have to go up on the people them stage so clean? So immaculate. No, my word. Oh god. Yellow and white. Yellow and white with brown shoes. Only you alone could have pull it off. Carlton Brown big up yourself because that outfit was a masterpiece. I I I I I I don't just wear it every day. Just just wear it as an international uniform now. It Number six, Retro Daga. As part of the lead up to the Sunfest days, they had something called the Retro Party. It was a 90s party, inspired party. And while I made it there, and I played the last segment, I played one bunch of little old hits, little broke out segment, flick it up on the left, them little something there. I see this brother and this girl decide, so I'm gonna take it to Marvin and Nikisha style, and the people them good, good floor. Number five, Kitty versus Spice. So anyway, Spice as part of her set was performing Indicator and Miss Kitty decided say she want to go challenge her for so who can make them bumper jump better. Pre. Check what I fear bumper can jump more than mine. Kitty, me and you know you can't, you can't. Uh, Let's try that somebody. Play something for me there. Let's try, play about the bumper jump. Play about something for me there. Play about the something. I got this. 
Number four, spice and the Japanese. Me turkey So as part of spices set, she welcomed you know this brother from the audience, this Japanese brother from the audience, for go and partake in a little bit of the sheet dancing with her. And what happened next? Where you from? Me come from Japan. This was the most epic moment when these fluffers decided to rush out on the people them floor with fear one drop. <laughs> Dancing. Oh Jesus people, I cannot remember exactly when this moment was captured, but I was going through 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 the crowd at some fest and doing a little bit of box pop when we book up this white girl I go on with some dancer queen Renice Renee 630 epic piece of skin out. my essay oh my gosh people you saw both of them in a music video next up some lady eyes people have said it to them did a dogo dogo and all kind of theories came about what their relationship could be but on dance all night this was night one of reggae some face he, he brought her on stage to recreate that magic and trust me people everybody in the audience they just start to feel mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks for watching another Dirty Berry social media countdown. This was the Sumfest 2017 edition, so you know I had to pick out some of the interesting highlights. You know, I have to say, you know, big up to Alkaline for what I thought was the most improved set. And Sumfest more of a set, big up to Shensia. She was trying a lot of things, trying to make it very theatrical. Big up Tifa, big up a lot of the female artists that really represented. I have to say, big up Idone, that was a good set as well. Big up Sean Paul and Queen I Freak, I can't leave you out. You did quite amazing as well. Um, <laughs> if you enjoyed the social media countdown, make sure that you hit like. Hit the like button, I'm going to give you two seconds right now. Hit like, hit like right there and don't forget to leave a comment, you can't just say anything, just share what was your favorite Reggae Sumfest moment, just comment down below, also don't forget to subscribe if you have family loved ones, tell them to subscribe as well. 